morning. Welcome to Tuesday's Daily Bread. So happy that you're here again. God bless you guys. Again, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. So happy to be in this day. Um, we've been Yesterday I told you, of course, I reminded you of Passover, but today I, we want to talk, start talking about an established heart, a heart that's established in the things of God. And I read yesterday Psalm 112. Um, I'm sure you guys might have read it again. I'm not sure, but either way, I read it yesterday. And, and that's just a powerful um, scripture. It's a scripture that lets us know that um, we don't need to be afraid of anything. Uh, the only reason we get afraid is because our hearts are not established. And all of us have been guilty. I'm not sitting here like I have arrived completely. We all have opportunities. But what we do is pass them by and put the word on it. And so the foundation scripture you know this week is Psalm 112. Um, and, and I was looking at something. No, this is something I want to say. No matter what may happen, when you have an established heart, you stand in the consciousness that if God is for you, no one can successfully be your enemy. To me, that is good because Romans 8.31, the last part of it says, if God be for us, who can be against us? And so if we're going to have our hearts established in the things of God, then we're going to have to have ourselves, our minds established with the words of God. We, we need to remember this. Words are seeds that start the process of life. They are seeds. Apostles have been talking about that for years. Word, and I have been talking about that for years. Words are seeds that start the process of life. Let's turn to James chapter 3. James chapter 3. You might not be able to turn. You could be driving. So you'll just listen as we read um, James chapter 3. Hebrew, James. Okay, I gotta get to Hebrews. Pass Hebrew, and then I'll get to James. James chapter 3, verses 2 through 6. Because it's so important to remember that words are seeds that start the process of life. And I don't, as I've talked to people through the years, and I've, I did a lot of talking through the years to people, listening to people, and a lot of times people don't realize the words that they say are starting the process of life. And that's what that's what's causing them to be the way that they are, to think the way they think, to act the way they think, because you're not gonna get above your words and what you say, because they go to your heart. So then your heart is not an established, it's an established heart, but it's established in the wrong way and not in the word of God. Now in James chapter three, verses two through six, it says, for in many things we offend, all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man. So what's he saying? He says, you know, a lot of times when you say things, you don't even know you've offended people, but you've offended it because he says, for in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man and able also to bridle the whole body. I guess that's why James says, be swift to hear, slow to speak. Well, I don't have to guess it. I know that's why James says, be swift to hear, slow to wrath, because the wrath of man work is not the righteousness of God, because that way we'll, we'll begin to be more mature, a perfect man, and then we can bridle our whole body because we're not saying things that we shouldn't say, and it can be offensive to people. We've all been guilty of that, myself included. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouths that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Behold also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listens. Even so, you need to say that, even so. <laughs> even so the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindles. Your tongue, my mouth is closed. You see my lips, but you don't see my tongue. It's covered. But that little tongue can, 
can cause a lot of fire our tongues. We need to watch the words that we say, things that we say. Because the next verse says, And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth. That is so amazing when you just think about it. That your tongue can defile your whole body and set on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. So again, I say words are seeds that start the process of life. We just read that in James. There are two things that must be understood before anyone can be a man or a woman of faith and power. You want to know what they are? Of course you do. Two things. You got to understand this. Before you can become, you say, I want to be this great, powerful woman of God. I want to be this great, powerful man of God. Two things that you got to understand, they're very simple. No one has a choice of whether or not he lives by words. Because when you talk, words are what come out. So you don't have a choice of whether or not you live by words. But you have the choice of what words you live by. Isn't that good? That in itself is excellent because you don't have a choice of what, or whether or not you live by words because you're going you're gonna to live by words, but you need to make sure that the words are the right words because Proverbs 18.21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So we don't want to... Um, speak wrong words. Even our Lord and our Savior Jesus said in Matthew 4, 4, right after he was tempted, he, it, was, it was all a part still of the temptation in Matthew 4. And Jesus said to the, to the devil in Matthew 4, 4, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So when we're talking about an established heart, you can see and listen and hear what I'm saying, the only way that you're going to have an established heart and have a right heart is by speaking the word of God, is by knowing the word of God, is by listening to the word of God. We all have phones. We have earbuds. If you don't want to use your earbuds when you get in your car, sometimes instead of blasting that music, blast the word because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And I do tell you, dear child of God, the times that we are living in now, our hearts need to be fixed. Our hearts need to be fixed trusting in the Lord because there are so many things coming on the earth that haven't even come yet, but they're on their way. And we've got to be ready. We've got to be ready. And we will be ready as we stand firm on the word of God. The time has gone so quickly. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in today. I will see you guys tomorrow morning.